What is going on, guys? I blew back with a brand new. <laughs> Today, I'm bringing you a new series. It's actually exciting. Uh, I've been watching Waddles a ton, and he has a survival guide, as does Pixel Riffs. And my big Minecraft video with the big 4,500 views, which is really amazing. Thank you so much. Um, is a how-to. So I decided, you know what? The algorithm likes how-to videos. So do I. <laughs> so let's make a series. <laughs> So I've decided to start this series because one, I wish I had something like this when I started playing Minecraft, and two, I have a lot of knowledge about Minecraft, so I may as well put it out there to the universe. Maybe you guys will learn something new every episode, maybe you won't. Hopefully it's entertaining enough to keep you and let you hit the subscribe button, turn that from red to gray, because it's free. Um, so without further ado, this is episode one of the iBlues Declassified Minecraft Survival Guide. <laughs> there. All right, so let's start our world. I blue. <laughs> what we say? I blues declassified Minecraft. There we go. <laughs> I blues declassified Minecraft survival guide. Hey, listen. If you know, you know. Um, okay, so uh, we're gonna be doing survival. I'm gonna lock it in on hard, just because I really do want to have those uh, good mob spawns later on. We're probably gonna die a few for a few times in the first few episodes, but that's okay. Uh, cheats, I'm not gonna allow on. I know I usually do uh, because I want to do thumbnails and such, but this time. No cheats. We're not doing anything. The only data pack, we're not going to have data packs, sorry. The only thing we're going to be doing is we're going to have Flip's texture pack on because I love the leaves. If I can find something other than Flip's, uh, I wouldn't mind the wheat and the uh, the leaves, the fluffy leaves or whatever. Other than that, I really don't care. Uh, but I like his diorite too, so maybe we'll just keep it on. Uh, game rules, not changing anything. Uh, world options, random seed, because I honestly found a really good seed, but I deleted the world and didn't take the seed down, so I'm stupid. Uh, but either way, we're just going to do default. We're not going to be doing any of the amplified or anything like that. I was thinking about doing an amplified, uh, but we're not going to. Um, so we'll, we'll go from here. So all this normal. Uh, we're done here. And IDMSG, I blew declassified minecraft survival guide let's create the world let's see what we get okay we're next to a taiga i like that i like that um that looks like a mountain over there that's exciting okay first of all i'm gonna turn this down for you guys so we're gonna bring it down to 10 that should be good we have music all the way off and hostile creatures off i'm gonna turn that back on uh, but probably to 25, like, friendly. Uh, it's because of the Ender Farm in the SMP server. So, uh, this series, let's talk about it, okay? I'm going to grab some of these. Always grab a couple flowers uh, when you can, because uh, you never know when you're going to want to make some dyes in the future, and you might not have time for these flowers. Uh, so I grabbed 14 flowers there. Yeah, cool. So uh, this series, let me talk about it real quick while I'm collecting some flowers. Um, this series is going to consist of many videos, uh, or it's going to be a long series that may never end, because with every update, there's a how-to guide that can go with it. Uh, I really like to explain things, and actually, my father, <laughs> believe it or not, thought I was going to be a teacher uh, my whole life. He thought I was going to be a teacher. Look at me now, Dad. I'm a Minecrafter. <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, yeah, I do like actually teaching people things. It comes natural to me, so I'm definitely down to show you guys how to play Minecraft. Uh, now, it's the survival guide because we're playing survival Minecraft, and it's 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 just, yeah, There's that's all I need to say about it. It's just going to be video after, ooh, some coal. Uh, video after video uh, of just, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. So, episode one, what do you usually have to do? There's three things you should be doing uh, with Minecraft in your first episode. You should be finding a food source, you should be finding a house, and you should be gathering resources. Uh, that's pretty much the main things you need to do at the beginning of Minecraft. Uh, you need a bed, uh, which is important, but I guess that goes with the house. Actually, make a bed, eat food, and make a house. That'll be the top three. That'll be the three. So today, we're going to do those three things. I'm going to grab some wood real quick. I'm going to do the boring stuff. Uh, we're going to try to get a food source going, because uh, uh, food sources are incredibly important. I mean, you will quite literally die without it, um, and then we're going to make a starter base after that, 
Uh, we'll, we'll make a bed if we can. If we can find some sheep, that'd be absolutely incredible. But right now, let's get our tools. Uh, tools in Minecraft are extremely important. It's how you navigate the world and do things. Uh, so there are multiple tools in Minecraft. Uh, there are the the hoe, going from least important. <laughs> Sorry, hoe. Um, there's the hoe, the axe, the shovel, or the shovel, the axe, I guess, the pickaxe, and you have the sword. Uh, that's, that's pretty much the tools, besides flint and steel, and if you want to include shears, uh, and bow and stuff like that but um and for armor you have headgear you have a chest plate you have leggings you have uh boots and you have a shield uh, that's pretty much what you want to have first episode it would be absolutely incredible if we did now you can make wooden uh wooden stuff so right here i'm going to make my wooden tools making a crafting bench with our four here um also, these little things, I'm just going to be throwing them in. I'm not going to be doing entire episodes on how to make a crafting bench, obviously, and stuff like that. But when I do things, I'll try to explain it in a, in a chronological order for you guys to understand what you're doing, okay? Uh, so, you're going to want to make your crafting bench. When you make your crafting bench, you can open it. Uh, opening it gives you uh, nine slots opposed to four. Uh, that makes it able you able to grow or make many more things. Uh, so here, you're going to want to make some sticks, uh, making them in the order like this, or just choosing them from this side. I'm going to choose a few sticks here, and then I'm going to go on my journey of making my tools. So I'm not going to make all wooden tools at first. Now, my ex my experience, it, it's it doesn't really matter. You can, you can't. You're just going to throw them out. Because when I get uh, wood, which I just did, I usually pick up my crafting table. I go to where I see a cave. And then that's when I start my uh, my adventure. Now, we did see a cave over here. I'm also going to stop jumping because I'm going to end up dying of hunger. Um, now, where did we see? Uh, that is a very dangerous cave that we don't want to be near. Uh, so we're going to go away from that. The coal was over here. Perfect. We're going to want to find this stuff really quickly. But this stuff's more important. So we're going to grab this. This is called stone. When you break it, it turns into cobblestone. If you have a silk touch, which we'll talk about later, you can actually pick it up as stone. But that's a later episode. <laughs> Don't think about that right now. Once you have around 15 to 20 stone, you're going to want, or cobblestone, as this will be, uh, you're going to want to start making your tools. Uh, this is this pickaxe is just so you can destroy and actually pick up the item that you destroy. So we're going to get rid of this wooden pickaxe. We don't need it anymore. Um, we need a couple more sticks. This is how we're going to make our tools. So that is our pickaxe. Stone pickaxe is probably what we're going to be using for the episode, the first episode because it's really difficult to get iron episode one. Uh, we're going to make an axe. We're going to make a sword. And we're going to make a shovel because a hoe right now, actually, we have enough. We may as well just make it. There we go. Now, this is the order I put my tools in. Um, I usually have uh, where I don't use the hoe a lot. Uh, my stone hoe will go above my shovel. I have shovel, axe, pickaxe, and sword. Everybody has different uh, needs. I, I, I just find that I, you know, I, I like having my sword on the first uh, slot because that allows me to jump to it by pressing number one, uh, just in case I'm in battle or in combat. Um, so this is stuff that you need to find very early on because coal can do multiple things, including... Um, you can make coal blocks, having nine of them, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's a cool looking block and easy way to store them, but that's not the important part. The important part is having torches. Uh, so this allows you to get torches. Uh, coal plus stick equals torches. It gives you four. And another very important part of having coal is because it allows your furnace to actually run, uh, which is definitely one of the most important things because that 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 there it actually uh it gives you food so that's that's important let's grab our crafting table let's get out of here before we die i don't want any mobs around us actually let's see if we can see any iron <gasps> there is iron down there that's actually huge okay let's get that iron because that's actually wow okay we're doing that right now um can we get down through here i think we can go down this way uh, do we do we hail Mary? Let's hail Mary. That's fine. We'll be okay. There's lots of iron here. That's great. Um, okay, I'm gonna get this iron. Now, the reason you want to get iron first episode uh, or first uh, day in your your world is because, especially if you play on hard, which I need to lock in. Uh, it, it's really difficult. I mean, uh, not having armor on skeletons do four to five hearts. It's insane. Um, so yeah. Oh, look, we uncovered more coal too. So I'm going to grab these resources and I'll be back with you guys, uh, to show you how to smelt them. Uh, but grab these resources, go up top and, uh, start, start smelting, get a little smelting station going. Cause then we got to go find some food to cook. Just pop them back in real quick. Show you how you make torches, coal, stick, torches. Boom. What a torch does lights up your area. Oh, that's an iron.
this is a torch. It lights up your area so you no longer are in the dark. Uh, I have dynamic light on, so when I grab it, uh, it actually lights it up, but I'm going to turn that off for sake of the video. And there we go. See, now it looks good. Now we can see what we're doing. Back to it. Also, while you're down in caves, it's really, really important to light them up as much as possible. Not just because of mob spawns for your own safety, uh, but because of mob spawns um, uh, for your world and your, your spawners and stuff like that. Because if you have a creeper farm, it's going to be significantly lower of an output of gunpowder, if uh, which we'll get into later if you don't have uh, every cave lit up down there. Which we'll get into entities and stuff is a later talk. I mean, right now you're just learning the basics. Cool. We have a 11 pieces of iron and we're still getting more holy cow this is crazy okay so this is the dangerous part uh, i literally have one heart and i could die at any second uh there are spiders everywhere we're gonna get out in the water because I'm extremely... Ooh, that could have been scary too. Uh, this is really bad because we actually don't have any food. We're going to kill some fish here. Uh, great source of food at the beginning of the game. Um, this really will start off a food source for you, uh, which is really what you need. I mean, it, it's not the greatest and it's not the most efficient. But listen, when you need food and you need it fast, this is great. Uh, and that's why I'm doing it currently. Uh, so let's get enough cobblestone... Okay, we're going to go somewhere and, and bury ourselves into a hole here because this is dangerous. Let's do it. Bury ourselves into a hole, and now we can get some cobblestone, uh, and we can make a furnace, and we can make some food to regen our hearts, and then we can look for some sheep because right now our most important thing is getting some cobblestone <laughs> to try to eat. So when you have your eight cobblestone, you're going to want to put them in a circle. You get a furnace. The furnace is important because this is how you're going to cook your food. Uh, one piece of coal does eight pieces of food or whatever. It does eight whatever regular cooking. Um, so it's going to cook all eight pieces of fish, which is extremely important. Also, I found a ton of iron. So we actually have enough iron here to do a full set of iron armor and a full set of tools. Uh, I think we should be close, if not perfect. Okay. Now that we have our hand bones back, uh, we're going to um, we're going to place our torches just so we don't die uh, and, and not be able to find our way back. Uh, and I'm going to see if there's any sheep around. Uh, I would love to see a couple sheep right now. Hmm. Oh, there's a baby zombie. Stay away from them. They're scary. Stay away from them as much as possible. Um, they're probably the scariest mob. They hit one or two to three hearts, and they are extremely fast. There we go. Monster Hunter, my first mob kill. Let's go. Um, okay, so let's get back in here real quick. And let's check on our food. So four are done. Let's eat them. And then uh, we're going to wait for our food to cook. We're going to throw the iron in there. And then we're going to uh, go out, try to find a sheep. And we're going to grab the sheep. Actually, we're going to wait for two iron. I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to wait for two iron to cook. We're going to grab some shears. And then we're going to go out, set our, ourselves on a journey to, uh, to find some sheeps. While we're waiting for some iron to cook, though, I'm going to kill some more fish. Because we are still extremely hungry. And we do not have enough food right now. There we go. Look at all this fish. Look at all this food. Let's go. Big food. Big money. Cool. So let's throw the food in there so we can uh, finish cooking that. And we're going to turn our two iron into a pair of shears. Uh, why we're going to do that is because if you kill a sheep, you only get one uh, one wool, but if you shear it, you can get one to three, which is important because we need three. And if we only find one sheep, I'd be extremely upset uh, because then we'd have to find more. Um, but if we have shears, there's a possibility we won't have to find more. See where I'm going with that? We're going to take those out, put the iron in, and we're going to set off on a journey uh, just like out right here just to try to find some sheep. Can't really see any right now. We're going to actually kill this spider if we can. Because his string, four string, will turn into one wool. So that's actually beneficial. There, I did not realize there were going to be that many mobs. Explode, please, creeper. Thank you. Let's get rid of those mobs and grab all this. Oh, goodness. See, this is why you need a bed. You really need a bed first thing. Because if you sleep, you, you bypass the night. And this doesn't happen. This is, this is horrible. This isn't good. Uh, and baby zombies can get through this part here. They can actually jump up and get into you. 
So watch yourself there. Oh my goodness, this isn't good. There we go. All right, uh, and we're gonna block that in just in case. Let's grab some armor. Let's make our first iron helmet. There we go. Boom. Now we're a little bit protected. I'm gonna eat, and we're gonna fight off some more mobs. I guess this really is a survival guide because this is teaching you how to like truly survive. Because uh, usually people are, you know, they'll sleep in their first episode, but not me, apparently. I don't like beds. I'm allergic to them, apparently. Actually, I'm allergic to sheep. Uh, good thing I don't like going to farms. Okay, these are, this is actually dangerous. I shouldn't be fighting a skeleton right now. I'm going to be honest. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I really shouldn't even be, I shouldn't be fighting a creeper either. I'm going to be honest. Nope. We're going to wait out the night. Okay, now that our bellies are full and we have a full set of iron armor, I'm going to leave the tools for now. I'll do them later, but we do have enough iron, just not smelted. We have 11, uh, but now we're going to set out and try to find ourselves a bed. Uh, we don't really have the greatest food source, but we'll do that uh, as soon as we find enough sheep to get a bed going. Uh, also, you can eat rotten flesh. There's just a low percent chance, which unfortunately I got, to get poisoned. Uh, it doesn't hurt you. It just doesn't saturate your health at all. And I'm sorry, piggies. It has to happen. I'm hungry. This is the best food source at the beginning. It's just killing whatever you see and eating the meat. Uh, just, uh, yeah, just cook it first because it really doesn't do much if you don't cook it. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything in this plains. Very suspiciously, it's really weird. Uh, usually, it's easy to find sheep in a plains, but we're going to go this way. Uh, I'm going to end up hitting the sugar cane that I've seen over here. I think I've seen sugar cane. I did right there. Perfect. We're going to grab that sugar cane. Hopefully, we'll find some sheep over here. That would be incredible. So, we got uh, we got some iron, so we're fully suited, which is great. Uh, we're going to get a house and a food source and a bed. Um, that That's the most important things to do right now. Uh, just unfortunately, we don't really see any sheep, uh, but that comes with time. We got this. Also, one thing I would also suggest, uh, usually go down through the caves that you find, uh, even if it's just to rush them to make sure that there's no minerals, because look, exactly, there's literally a bunch of iron right here sitting for the taking uh, that no one has collected because it's a single player world. I'm also going to keep that, I guess, ooh, look more. Uh, I guess I'll keep the torch there. You don't really need to, especially if you're traveling, uh, but if you're in a stationary spot, uh, try to light up the torches near your house. Now, we have enough coal, so I'm actually not going to waste any time grabbing the coal, but I will grab the iron, because we're going to need it. I can promise you that, uh, but I am going to leave the coal. Sorry for anybody that hates that. Uh, I just don't have much time. We need to make a bed before uh, nightfall, uh, which is, is really important, because I don't want to sleep through the night like I just did again, or almost die like I did like eight times just then. Also, I saw that coal. Don't tell me in the comment section. I don't care. <laughs> Okay, we have to find sheep in here. There's no way we don't find sheep in here. This is a great place. This is a this is this is where sheep sh sheep strive. They 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 strive or what are they what do they do? They they thrive. Thrive. They thrive off this stuff. Why am I not picking up the the sugar cane? I don't understand. There we go. Okay. Um let's move this way and see what we find. I'll bring you guys back once I find sheep or something interesting. Ooh, this is interesting, actually. Berries. Berries is an incredible food source. So there's two ways that you can collect berries. Uh, let me just get rid of that egg. We don't need that. Um, you can right-click on them, like or left-click on them, like I just did, or right-click, and it actually gives you the berries. Now, if you walk into them, they will uh, give you damage, unfortunately, so I'm going to get rid of them while I pick them up. But this is an incredible beginning food source. Um, did I pick them up? I did. Look at this. Look, you eat them fast. And they're, they're great. They give you one each time. They're not the most saturated. But, ooh, a bunny. Uh, but they're they're pretty good. I mean, it's better than not having food, which we don't have right now. Um, so we kind of needed it. I'm also glad about all this forest. Like, holy cow. We have so much forest. This is incredible. This game is beautiful. <gasps> What's that? Oh, that's I thought that was a sheep. But it's actually just a stump. Um, okay. I'm going to keep looking, I guess. I. <sighs> we just need sheep. We just need sheep. Ooh, a pumpkin. Also, collect these when you see them. Uh, what, what do I not need here? Uh, let's get rid of that. Pumpkins are uh, important as well. Uh, not only are they a decent food source for making pumpkin pie and such, uh, but pumpkins are actually really important because uh, when you start to do villager trading, uh, you get a bulk of your emeralds trading them to a certain villager. I think it might be farmer. It could be cleric, but I think it's farmer. Uh, and they take... 
uh, I think it's like six pumpkins usually for one do- uh, one emerald. And if you do uh, ill mangoes or oh, sheep, oh my goodness, wait. Okay, we're forgetting about the pumpkins. Come on, give us three wool. Okay, what can we drop for that? Let's drop this. Give us three wool. Please give us three wool. One, two, and we got three, boys. Let's go. We got five pieces of wool. Thank you, sirs. I will spare your life today. Perfect. Okay, we have a food source, which is great, uh, which, I mean, we're going to have to get a better food source. But, like, right now, this is great. Uh, We're in a taiga where I want it to build, which is also great. And uh, we have, finally, uh, enough to make a bed. Uh, making a bed was the most important, honestly, because I couldn't really do anything else without it. But we have a dark oak over there as well. <gasps> do you see that mushroom over to the left? That's crazy. Okay. I also really like this little spot here. Maybe we'll build here. Okay, I'm going to build a little small uh, place for us to live. I'm also going to keep him alive for now. Now, uh, the start of any base. Listen, okay. You're going to have to find a really cool spot to build uh, because only cool spots are important. <laughs> I mean, that's subject to... Uh, uh, English. So first off with our base, I'm actually going to set up a food source. Uh, so let's do that. Um, our food source is going to be berries for now. I mean, I'm definitely going to improve it in the future because berries really aren't that good, but we can use them for now. Let's do that. Uh, so uh, to set up a food source, usually you just need the food source, which is seeds or berries, which we're using berries. And I'm actually going to take these, make some slabs, uh, because I am going to do it in a certain way that will benefit you all greatly in the future let's make it up here let's clear out a little spot so it's a little bit away from us as you know as i just told you sweet uh swedish i was gonna say swedish berries no brand deals no free brand deals uh swedish berries (laughs) sweet berries um they 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 when you place them you get stuck in them and when they grow fully uh you actually get hurt by them so if you place them one two three four five six and then one two three four five six which they grow incredibly fast, as you can see, and then you'll start getting hurt by them. Uh, if you did this and you put some uh, you put some spruce slabs over them, or any slab for that matter, um, you actually can't walk into them. It's really, really good. It's great. Uh, it really helps. Now, I'm actually going to get rid of these. Unfortunately, I placed them in the wrong spot, and you can't get them back. Uh, so let's place them here, and I actually placed one too many, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. Um, and then we're going to place some spruce slabs like this as well. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the one, f- uh, the one last one is over here. There we go. And now you actually can't run into them. It won't slow you down. It won't hurt you, and you can actually get at them from here, and you can right-click uh, to harvest your berries. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, so that's a good way to start your food source. Also, light it up. I don't think it matters with sweet berries, but usually with farming, you want to light up around your crops uh there we go and we'll place a torch here just to signify that's the way we're going um and my house i think i'm going to build over in this area here uh this could be a cool area to build uh so usually when i find a place to build i usually start by uh, putting a chest down putting all my stuff in a chest and trying to organize myself a bit so that's what we're going to do i already made a chest so i wouldn't have to make one now i'm going to place it like right here and we're going to put all of our stuff in the chest because we have way too much on us right now to even comprehend so let's take it all put it all in there we're gonna need three pieces of wood we're gonna need the iron we're gonna need that and that and that there okay next step they're gonna want to take your furnace place your furnace next down to your chest get your crafting table place it down to your next to your chest go to your furnace put everything that you want to smell in there in there perfect let's grab a couple pieces of wood to make our bed which is incredibly important three pieces of wood three wool bed boom We are set. We are actually fully set. Now you can right click and set your spawn point and during a thunderstorm and or sleeping during the night, which is happening right now. As you can see, my screen is getting darker. Um, Yeah, we can do that, which is great, but we can't sleep yet. So let's collect some wood until then. (gasps) Hello. I want your wool. Thank you. Now, I have a very simple build I'm going to do right here today. Uh, It's just going to be simple um, spruce wood, stripped spruce wood, uh, some cobblestone maybe. Uh, maybe I'll make it some stone. I don't, I don't know. I want something very simple as a starter house. Really not anything important. We're just going to have it so we can, we can not die and we can, we can help ourselves. And I'm going to sip some chocolate milk. Cool. So how far along is our iron? All right. So now iron tools, let's get into it. Iron tools. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's make some, <clears throat> some of this. Now, all these tools can be ironed. Uh, usually I suggest upgrading your sword. And your pickaxe. Uh, oh, that's not a pickaxe. That's the pickaxe. Because uh, you're going to use those two the most 
I find now, right now, technically, I'm, I'm actually going to be using an axe a lot, which is why I'm going to make an axe. Uh, but usually that's the first two that I'll upgrade. I made an axe because I'm going to be using an axe a ton right now. I'm um, putting them back. I'm probably never going to use them. Honestly, I should probably th I always do this. I should probably just throw them away because I feel like I'm not even going to use them anyway. Um, so get rid of those and then grab a probably a dirt uh, if I can and just place a dirt over them Boop. and they'll despawn eventually. Now, um we're gonna have to make a little spot for our uh, for our house to be to, to to take place. So let's dig out some dirt here. Uh, you're gonna want to terraform yourself a little spot to have your house. Um, all these trees that you see that are gonna be floating, I'm gonna take down anyway. Uh, so clear out a little spot, see where you want to put your house, and then I'll go through how we're gonna make our house, which is the exciting part. Clearing it out sucks. Cool. Now that we have some wood and we kind of feel a little bit better, uh, we're going to start making our house. This is where I'm going to put my house, right in this little area. Uh, it's going to start around right, uh, we'll probably do it like right here. And then we're going to have another little part uh, right here. And then another little part right uh, here probably. Another little part right here, uh, here, and all the way back here. So like right there. And I guess probably one right here, there. So uh, the reason I do this is because I want to have like this outline of what I'm going to do. Uh, let me remove all this stuff so you can actually see it. I, I know it's probably confusing. Um, there we go. And we'll place our chest uh, over this way. Um, and we'll put everything in our chest. Um, there we go. All right. And then we can grab this, put that in our chest, put that there. And then we'll put our crafting table down again and put everything back in our chest. Yes, we're putting everything back. Um, there we go. And then we're going to grab what we need. We need that. We don't need that. Okay, so the reason I do this uh, is, is just to outline what I want. I want the front uh, probably actually. Let's move it. Um, actually, let's move it back one. There we go. Okay, we'll we'll take this. This is fine. So uh, this is going to be our little porch area or entrance, and this is going to be our regular house. I'm not going to have a two-story because, honestly, I really don't care. Uh, this is literally just going to be the beginning of the episode, and eventually we're just going to change it up anyway. Um, so we're just going to jump around, make these three high uh, so we can at least see what we're dealing with here. There we go. And maybe, hmm, do we want to make it one more high? Uh, no, we'll deal with this. This is fine. I'm going to connect the beams all the way around uh, just because I like the look of it. Uh, all the way around, we need more wood. Oh, my goodness. Already? Uh-oh. Okay, this is going to take a while. Also, you just right-click these, and it gives you berries. It's great. What a great food source this is. Wow. Now, personally, I really like where these... Um, where all these trees are. Uh, so I'm actually gonna place some trees back where I already had them. This one personally, I'm probably gonna keep there uh, or destroyed because I don't really care about this one. But there's a couple here that I do wanna keep uh, in a certain spot. Now that's gonna have to go. Also, I'm using my shears here, uh, left clicking, and that actually allows me to pick up the leaves. Uh, so now I actually have leaves. This is because I want to decorate our place once it's done. Uh, but I'm grabbing some more wood now, and then we're going to take this wood over there, uh, and we're going to fill in our beams even further. So fill in our beams all the way. It's almost like a regular house, you know? You actually fill in the beams. You got the beams going. Uh, there we go. Now the beams are done. It does look like a small house. That's actually because it is. <laughs> it is a small house. Uh, but I'm going to take my time here now. Uh, I'm going to cut up some leaves here because I don't want to deal with them. And we're going to place cobblestone, which we probably don't have much of. We're going to have to get more around the bottom like that. Uh, it might look cool. It might look stupid. I'm not sure. Uh, but we're just going to do it for now. Um, we're also going to strip all the wood. Let's do that. All right. Let's go all the way around. And excluding this, actually, I guess we have to put a little bit here. Uh, we'll put that there like that. Put this together, put that like that, all the way around uh, to finish it off here. There we go. And then we're going to strip all this to make it look uber cool because we want to make it look really cool. There we go. And then all this and then all this. 
There we go, and this should look pretty decent. Cool. Okay, now uh, let's put some uh, of these guys around here, and then we'll put some on this side, maybe just two. Uh, maybe a couple in the back like this, and then we'll put a couple over here, like, oop, not like that, probably like this, and then maybe one there. Perfect. Okay. Now, we need to make some doors. Doors are important. Uh, let's do that right now. So, how you make a door, which is uh, probably the most important thing in Minecraft, uh, just have enough to fill up uh, six, six blocks here in the crafting table, whether it's there or like this, either way, it'll make three doors. Uh, so, this will give you three doors, and then you can place them. I'm going to place them like that. Uh, actually, I'm going to place them inside, because that looks the best. Boop, boop. And then there we go. Now, this is going to be uh, regular wood. We're going to have some windows over here. Oh my goodness, this is coming together, boys. This is looking good. Let's get it. Okay, now that we have this wood, I find the stripped and the... Ooh, I forgot a piece. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I find stripped wood and um, cobblestone and regular wood actually go really well together. Uh, so I'm actually just going to do uh, this probably. I mean, I would not I would like to have a window there. All right, let's take out this piece actually because I want to have a window here. Uh, so let's do this and we'll put that there. We'll put a window here. Uh, we need a piece of stripped to put there. We need a piece of cobblestone to put there. And we'll have a window there. Um, hmm. Actually, we have two windows here. Two windows there. We'll have, let's see what we want to have here. We'll have a window here and a window here. And maybe we'll make that um, a double window. Yeah, how about we make that a double window? There we go. Uh, this one's just going to be a double window as well. Actually, it was just going to be one, but now I'm thinking they're both going to be doubles. And uh, the, the windows, uh, with the windows, I forgot to tell you. You need to collect sand. I, I need to do that. I completely forgot, and now I don't know where there's going to be any sand. Uh, hopefully there's some around, because we need it. Oh, we need to sleep. <clears throat> Now, sand. Sand is used for multiple things. Sandstone, regular sand, building, uh, uh, random stuff, glass, and glass panes. Glass panes are what we're after. Glass is just glass blocks. Glass, ooh, sand, perfect. Gla ooh, cows as well. That's actually really good. Uh, glass is really good. It's great. It's a great block. It looks good. But glass panes are cheaper and look better, in my opinion. Not in everybody's opinion, just in my opinion. I mean, everybody else may have the same opinion, but I know for a fact that I definitely have that opinion, and I definitely think it's right. <laughs> I think glass panes look great, especially in this texture pack. They almost look medieval. It looks really, really cool. Oh, we need to eat. I also would have eaten if I noticed I had to eat. <laughs> do, 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 do. So sand, if you put it into our furnace, like we did with everything else, uh, we just throw it in the furnace, it actually cooks it, it's going to come out at one, as one piece of glass, we need six pieces of glass to make a glass, never mind, uh, we need six pieces of glass to make a glass pane, there we go, six pieces of glass makes 16 glass panes, I'm not sure why, uh, I think it's four sized. No, that wouldn't make sense. I don't know why it's 16. Either way, all you need to know is it is 16. Uh, let's place a few of these around. I think that could look cool. Uh, maybe a little bit of a decoration, a decoration. Make it look a little bit better. I am not French. I'm nowhere near French. Don't tell XQC. Um, we'll put a couple of those around to spruce up the uh, spruce <laughs> to spruce. <laughs> okay, I'm slightly going insane. Uh, day three of trying to make my house. Um, also, if you're wondering about the texture pack, it is whips. I told you at the beginning of the episode, but it makes iron look like stone. It is confusing, but I like the look of it. Oddly enough, I actually do. Uh, I'm, I just made a shovel because I want to make uh, like a path block kind of ideal idea here uh, to make it look pretty cool. Maybe look a little bit better. Look like I've been farming consistently, which is probably not like actually a thing. But listen, it's cool. There we go. I'm going to spruce it up a little bit. I got to stop saying that. <laughs> And then we're going to bring ourselves around to the door. Cool. And there we go. All right. Um, now, we need to get back here and we need to grab our sand because we have six. That's perfect. And we're going to put our glass. There we go. I meant glass, not sand. And we're going to put our glass panes in. Yay. We're going to have... Oh, I forgot this right here. We're finally going to have windows, which is extremely important. There we go. Window, 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 and window. Done. Oh, well, window. <laughs> um... 
Now, <laughs> you guys may say, I blew. Look at this. This is done. My house looks great. Well, you forgot uh, the roof. I, the, <laughs> the roof is extremely important. How did I forget the roof? I'm going to be honest. I actually forgot to put a roof on it. I just almost stopped the episode and remembered that it needed a roof. Um, so we're going to put a roof on this B. Now, you can go for the traditional... Uh, staircases up and, and and stuff like that i'm going to because i think it looks really good but a, a very very uh a creative way to do it and honestly uh, aesthetically pleasing is use slabs around and just start the slab here so it'll look like uh well i don't really have a slab on me but it'll go right here go all the way around and then go step up one go all the way around and keep stepping up one until you're fully in uh and fully closed in it'll look really good i promise uh but uh, i'm trying to figure out what i want to do here uh give me a minute Okay, I know what I want to do. I need a ton of cobblestone. Oh, I forgot we have flowers, too. We can actually plant some flowers. I think that would look cool. Let's do that right now. I want to plant some flowers. I think that would look really cool. Maybe spruce it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I promise. I promise. Let's place a flower, like, right here. And maybe a flower, like, right there. And right here, maybe. Right there. And then maybe a red one right there. And there. And maybe a blue one there. That would be cool. And then a blue one there. That would be awesome. Uh, let's place a white one there. And maybe a blue one there. And a red one there. And a red one uh, not there. That, that Right there. Perfect. Blue. All right. Um, and blue one there. Perfect. So now we have some color. Uh, we have some cobblestone. And we're going to start making stairs. Now, the most efficient way to make stairs, I'm pretty sure, is to actually use a stone cutter. Uh, but I don't even know if we have the recipe for that yet. No, we don't. So we're just going to make stairs like this. We're going to need all 40, so may as well make them right now. And I'm going to show you how to make a, a, a roof on a Minecraft house. Um, so... <clears throat> We're going to want the roof uh, to go up like this, I think, uh, maybe, um, hmm, let me think. Um, we're going to want the roof to go over like this and then over like this and up like that. Yes? No. Yes. Okay, let's start this way. Uh, we're going to do the roof like this, not like that. We're going to do the roof like this. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. And then we're going to go boom. And that's going to be the beginning of our house. Uh, let's try to get up here without hurting ourselves. Um, here we go. Hello. I can't get up there. Okay. These berries are going to get annoying, but I like them. Aesthetically, they look good. That's all that matters. So uh, put a stair block this way and then come backwards, upside down stair, frontwards, upside down stair, frontwards, upside down stair, and then go to the other side because that's pretty much all you'll need. Um, and then we can uh, go from over here, and you go all the way over. Obviously, I don't have enough stairs. I do know that. Um, but I'm just trying to start it out to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so let's jump up here, do a little bit of parkour to try to try to get up there. Boom, look at that. Uh, then we're going to upside down stair, regular stair, upside down stair, regular stair, upside down stair. Now, you're going to get to this point, and it's going to look awkward. Uh, unfortunately, that's exactly what I didn't want. So we're going to do regular stair and regular stair, and that'll be fine. I think that's going to look perfectly fine. Uh, so we're going to do it on the other side, um, which is like this regular stair. Uh, we're going to run out really quickly here, uh, but I'm just going to show you and then you guys can finish that off if you're following along. Also, if you're following along slash seed, it'll be in the description below, but also it's right there. Uh, I'm not going to read the numbers because that's way too pointless. Uh, so upside down stair, regular stair, upside down, regular stair, and then we're going to go get some more cobble. Because we do also need to do this side, uh, which is going to be like this. Boop, boop, boop. And then we're going to go up like that. Um, like that, I think, right? Or is that going to look stupid? I don't know. I'll get back to you guys. Okay, cool. I think it's actually going to look good. Okay, so the way I'm doing the roof is I did the trim, and now I'm going in the middle with regular stairs. So just like that, and then all the way over. Uh, which I will show you there now. There we go. And then we keep going over. And now this one is going to be the same thing. It's just going to keep going over uh, until we get to the point of no return. Uh, we're just going to have to start over here again. We're going to have to get more wood, though, because we're almost out. And we also need to sleep. All right, there we are. There's our roof. Oh, there's not our roof. One sec. Oh, my goodness. We're not done yet. 
And there's our roof. <laughs> it looks good. Honestly, this looks pretty good. I like this roof. Now we just need to fill in the gaps right there, uh, which I kind of have an idea for. Let me see. Let me brainstorm. Hmm. Maybe we can bring down some spruce. Maybe stripped spruce. Do we have any stripped? I feel like we don't. Yeah, we need to bring down, cut down another tree. We need to plant a bunch of trees at the at end of the episode really badly. There, that should be enough, I hope. There we go. Uh, so what I'm going to do from the middle, I'm actually going to bring down a pillar like that. Uh, maybe just like that. And then we're going to fill it in with regular spruce, maybe like that. Uh, yeah, I think that looks fine. And then we'll bring down a middle pillar like that. Perfect. And then one and then one and strip that. Cool. That doesn't look completely stupid. It doesn't look the greatest, but it doesn't look the worst. Uh, there we go. Bring that down like that. Okay, I guess we're just gonna fill it in like this. There we go. And then this side should be good anyway. So let's get one more tree and we should be good. I forgot to do the floor, so I'm doing that real quick. Uh, but that is honestly pretty close to being done. Uh, let's let's make the house look a little bit better. Uh, I'm just gonna place the crafting table. Maybe another one like over here. Uh, let's put the furnace down. Boom. Uh, we'll put the one furnace or the one iron that we had in there uh, in there. There we go. Uh, let's go grab our stuff. Uh, we need a chest. We're going to need a double chest anyway. So we may as well make a couple more pieces of wood here and make another chest. Uh, there we go. Let's place the chest like here. Let's put all of our stuff in the chest besides the bed. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. So much stuff. So much stuff. Uh, let's place our bed, like, right here. Um, let's go back out. We need to grab all the stuff that was on the ground. There we go. And we're going to put it all in our chest. There we go. Uh, we do have another chest here. So, yeah, we have a double chest, extra room, double the trouble. Uh, and then we're going to just do some housekeeping. Uh, so, okay, what did I tell you at the beginning of the episode? Oh, let's close our doors just in case. Uh, oh, wait, we need to fix this. It's not done. Oh, my goodness. All right, what did I tell you guys at the beginning of the episode? You need a house, which we're in, luckily. <laughs> well, you need a bed, which we have, and we need a food source, which we have right out there. Our berry bushes are literally right outside our window. So I think we're in a good spot. Now, the only thing I would suggest doing for your first uh, episode of your world or your first day of your world or whatever, other than these things, try to plant some wheat and uh, ultimately, you're going to really want to get a sugarcane farm going. So we did see some water over here. Uh, I'm just going to go over here and plant the sugarcane. I mean, you should probably plant it closer to you, but I don't really have any opportunity closer. So I'm just going to throw them down right here. Uh, at least it'll get them growing because we're going to need these faster than you'd anticipate. Uh, and we're also going to grow our um, we're going to grow our seeds here. So we'll put that down as well. Boom. Uh, that That's going to grow now, and then we can use the wheat to attract cows, which we've seen over there, unless they're not there anymore. Um, and, yeah, we're going to use those to attract the sheep and the cows uh, into a pen so we can actually have a renewable source of food. Either way, guys, I think – oh, wait, we need to make – Look, we have no lighting. Uh-oh. We need to do that. That's important. Hello. We need lighting. <laughs> okay, let's put that in there, and let's get some lighting going. I'm just going to throw some torches up here, not really in a particular order. Uh, and then we're going to go out here. We're going to place some lighting around the campsite here because uh, we, we, we really need some lighting. That's absolutely important. Um, if we don't have lighting, those things will spawn. And those things will kill us, and we don't want that to happen. Hello, spider. You will die now. As will you, zombie. Sorry. Uh, and we're going to light. Oh, that's too close to that one. Uh, we'll light up over here and like this. There. Perfect. And that's pretty lit up. I mean, I should probably light up this cave as well. Uh, we're probably going to use this as our mine shaft, honestly. I think this looks really, really cool. But either way, guys, I think this is the end of the episode. I, I think this is where we end it. I, I really like our house. I like what we've done. I like how it looks. Uh, so thank you guys so much for tuning in to the first episode of the I've Lose the Classified Minecraft Survival Guide. 
uh, yeah, episode one, how to start your world in Minecraft and, and make a starter world or starter base. So this is how you make a starter base. This is how you make a bed. This is how you get your armor, your tools, a food source, plant sugar cane, and you're pretty much good to go now. So this is all you need to start Minecraft. And next episode, we're going to find some diamonds. We're going to find some diamonds. Uh, we're going to get a better food source. We're going to start making bookshelves. We're going to start getting ready for the Ender Dragon because we going to beat that real quick. But without further ado, guys. What? Without further ado? <laughs> leave a like if you like the video. Leave a dislike if you don't. Because it actually matters. I, I like if you dislike it because that means that I'm not making good enough content. And you guys deserve the best content ever. Either way, guys. Thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button. Hit the bell, hit, hit, hit the bell button. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one. Also, I'm doing a 250 subscriber. 200 subscriber or 250? Either way, I'm doing a Q&A very soon. Very soon. So leave your questions down in the comment section. And I may read it. And I may say hello. And I may heart it. And I may say, hey, maybe I'll do. I got an idea. I just got a beautiful idea. I just got an amazing. We're going to do comment section, a comment question of the day on the Minecraft server. So every single episode at the end of the episode, there's going to be a comment that is highlighted and put in the video into a book and quill, just like Python does. We're going to do a comment question of the day. So leave a comment questions down below in the comment section. Ooh, comment, question, comment, session. I don't need no, oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. As you can see, I'm done my semester in mere weeks, and I'm extremely excited to start uploading on a consistent schedule, which I should tell you guys as well. Sorry for saying, okay, guys, I'm going to leave. And then, anyway, my schedule, Monday, Story SMP. Wednesday, How To Guide, or I blew the classified Minecraft survival guide. That's hard to say. Uh, Friday, random video, Call of Duty, Minecraft, League of Legends, whatever I want to do, whatever I'm feeling, I'm going to play that, whatever it is, or collaboration, whatever. And Sunday, this Sunday, starting, we're going to have a special guest on the Minecast. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're bringing back the Minecast. It is absolutely incredible. I'm so excited to bring back the Minecast. It's going to be in a different setting because I still I don't have the world from the Minecast before, but that's okay. We're bringing back the Minecast, so it's going to be Monday Story SMP, Wednesday How To Guide, Friday whatever I want to put it up, Sunday Minecast. I promise this is the upload schedule we're going to stick on. I think this is the most successful, best for me, and the most successful for most people. Uh, a lot of people upload every two days or whatever, so that's what we're going to be doing. Either way, guys, thank you for watching episode one of the I Blue Declassified Minecraft Survival Guide. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one, episode two, where we're going to hopefully find some diamonds. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.